It is really puzzling to me that having just buried one monster, the Soviet Union, another remarkably similar one, the European Union, is being built. Exactly what is the European Union? Perhaps by examining the Soviet version, we can get the answer. The Soviet Union was governed by 15 unelected people who appointed each other and who were not accountable to anyone. The European Union is governed by two dozen people who appoint each other, meet in secret, and are not accountable to anyone and whom we cannot sack. One might say that the EU has an elected parliament. Well, the Soviet Union had a parliament of a sort too, the Supreme Soviet, which just rubber-stamped the Politburo decisions. Pretty much like the European Parliament does, where speaking time in the chamber is limited within each group and often amounts to one minute per, per speaker. In the EU, there are hundreds of thousands of Eurocrats with their huge salaries, their staff, servants, bonuses and privileges, their lifelong immunity from prosecution, which is simply shuffled from one position to another, no matter what they do or fail to do. Is this not exactly like the Soviet regime? The Soviet Union was created by coercion and very often with a military occupation. The European Union is being created, admittedly not by armed force, but by coercion and economic bullying. In order to continue to exist, the Soviet Union spread itself further and further. The moment it stopped spreading, it started collapsing. And I suspect the same is true of the European Union. We were told that the purpose of the Soviet Union was to create a new historic entity, the Soviet people, and that we must forget our nationalities, our ethnic traditions and customs. The same seems to be true of the European Union. They don't want you to be British or French. They want you all to be a new historic entity, European, to suppress all your national feelings and live as a multinational community. After 73 years, the same system in the Soviet Union resulted in more ethnic conflict than anywhere in the world. In the Soviet Union, one of the grand purposes was the destruction of the nation-state. And that's exactly what we observe in Europe, in Europe today. Brussels intends to absorb nation-states so that they should cease to exist. Corruption was built into the Soviet system from top, to, uh, to, from top down, and so it is in the EU. The same endemic corruption activity that we saw in the old Soviet Union has flourished in the EU. Those who oppose or expose it are silenced or punished. Nothing changes. In the Soviet Union, we had a gulag. I think we have a gulag in the European Union also, also an intellectual gulag known as political correctness. When anyone tries to speak their mind on questions of race or gender, or if their views differ from those approved, they will be ostracized. This is the beginning of the gulag the beginning of your loss of freedom. In the Soviet Union, they told us we needed a federal state to avoid war. In the European Union, they are telling you exactly the same thing. In short, the same ideology underpins both systems. The EU is an old Soviet model presented in Western guise. But again, like the Soviet Union, the European Union has within itself the seeds of its own demise. Unfortunately, when it collapses, and it will, it will leave immense destruction behind and we will be left with huge economic and ethnic problems. The old Soviet system was incapable of reform, so is the European Union, but there is an alternative to being ruled by those two dozen self-appointed officials in Brussels. It is called independence. You don't have to accept what they have planned for you. After all, you have never been asked if you wanted to join. I have lived in your future, and it didn't work.